the Department of Justice stated that there's a 16% chance of return of inmates to prisons if they receive um, literacy help or literacy training. And, and that's opposed to a 70% chance of return if they receive no such training. At Inside Books, this is the exact type of problem that we're trying to solve. Hi, my name is Henry Raskov. I am a volunteer, a frequent volunteer of Inside Books. And um, I'd like to take a little bit of uh, time today to sort of educate you of what we do at Inside Books and how we do it and why. Uh, before I begin, please silence all cell phones, and uh, if you must leave, please do so quietly, so as not to disturb the other listeners. So what do we do at Inside Books? It's very simple. Uh, our main goal is to distribute books to prisoners, uh, reading material, all sorts of um, literature to uh, inmates across Texas. Um, it's Austin based, right here in the city, and this is where it started. Um, so what do we do? We read letters from these in inmates. Uh, <clears throat> that asks for a certain type of text. Um, it's usually based on around genres and stuff. And then once we uh, determine what they want, we go through the shelves at the Inside Books uh, building and we see if we can find the, uh, the books that they're asking for. Sadly, the number of books is very limited at uh, Inside Books. And so many times we don't get the exact book that they, that they are looking for. Uh, we sort of have to go through genres, so say they want a specific science fiction book, we'll usually have to just give them a different one, hopefully um, in the same genre. Um, books that are constantly being asked for are dictionaries and thesauruses, and where like, we, uh, they, unless they ask directly for them, we will not give them out because they're always in, in, uh, in demand. Once you've decided what books you want to send, uh, you then re, uh, write a letter back to the inmate and this letter contains uh, exactly what books you sent them and then a little bit of like chit chat per se about maybe why you chose those books or maybe why they'd like those books and it's just sort of to engage the, the, the prisoner um, and sort of like humanize them because in that uh, environment you can sort of become a number uh, much less a person. Um, the reason why I like Inside Books is because it's very rewarding and it's actually pretty easy. Um, you're working one-on-one -on -one with a single person and you can really feel how you're changing this person's life and making them their lives better. So why do we do it? Well, currently 70% of inmates uh, don't uh, read, uh, read uh, around a 40, fourth grade um, reading level. And that's terrible. And uh, such a high demographic of, of grown men and women that, that really can't read to a, to a sufficient level. And this problem can be fixed, or at least helped, by just providing more reading material, because it's very hard to find reading material inside prisons. Um, besides reading, uh, these prisoners also learn a lot of very valuable skills through the books that we send them. Many times, I will get books like law books or business books for people that want to sort of take charge of their own lives and maybe learn a little bit about business um, so they can start selling out, start selling up when they leave. Um, and besides things like business and law, people ask for uh, a multitude of different subjects, such as reading, um, writing, math, science, just so they can um, use their time. Um, when you're in prison, you have a lot of idle time, and uh, books sort of provide an alternative to this, like an escape. And so at Inside Books, we want to, um, as opposed to the old way, which is where there is no books. Uh, we want to provide more reading material so that they do have the, do they, <clears throat> they have this uh, escape and that they can enjoy, uh, engage in more uh, productive activity like reading and learning instead of um, you know, an alternative, which can be very um, uh, not good in a prison setting. And we'd like to see a sort of chain reaction in prisons where one person has a book, they're enjoying it, they're passing time, they're learning something, their maybe cellmate or a friend sees it and they, they seem to be engrossed in a book, maybe they want a book. And it's all free, so they just need to uh, message us, write to us at Inside Books, and we'll pr provide that reading material that they want. It's very easy to forget about prisoners. Uh, we lock them up and we just, we don't need to see them and they have almost no voice in politics. So it's very, very easy just to forget about them completely. And prisons are just riddled with problems. 
and we can fix at least one of those problems, literacy in prisons, just by doing something as simple as providing books of any sort. And so I hope I've uh, explained to you what we do at Inside Books today, and I, I hope to see you out there. Thank you.